Hi, uh, if you're installing SQL Server 2019 on a Windows 11 platform, so it might not work. Actually, there is a trick, uh, but also it might not work altogether. So in this video, I'm just kind of trying to save you some time because, you know, I had, I had uh, Windows 2011 preview version installed on my MacBook Pro 2011. Uh, it's the new M1 Pro models. Uh, so. Um, I installed uh, basically a trial version of Parallels and then I also downloaded a preview version of Windows 11 uh, and I thought, you know, everything would work fine. I also downloaded the SQL Server uh, 2019. Uh, I think it was the developer version, uh, but it did not work. It actually threw some error when I was installing the server, uh, but eventually what happened is that, you know, uh, if I start the server, it will not start. Uh, so let me show you what the problem is. So uh, as you can see, uh, it did not start and the error, see, the error says that the request failed on the service or the service did not respond in a timely fashion. Consult the event log or other application logs for details. So if you want to look into the errors, so go into the event viewer uh, and in there go to the windows logs, go to applications. And there you will see, you know, all these errors and the source is SQL Server. So basically, you know, that's, uh, uh, you'll exactly see what the error is. So the error here is could not open the error log file. Uh, so basically, you know, uh, this is just, you know, the configuration issue because um, uh, if you go into SQL Server and click inside the properties uh, and go to the start parameters, you'll notice that it does not, have any default parameters and actually it should have a, a couple of default parameters such as the error log so you can either specify that from here and then just provide you know the complete path i'm just uh, i'm not sure why it's not doing that but uh, you would add it like this uh, e uh, dash e followed by the path and uh, even you know when i type e there's an issue it won't add uh, uh, it won't add the parameters. So there's another way to actually go into registry. So let me show you how to do that. Um, so when you go into registry, uh, go into the local machine. Uh, let me actually just type in here. Then software, then Microsoft, then SQL Server. Microsoft SQL Server and from here there is uh, there is this uh, node instant names and in here you're actually going to create a new node which would be a string value and um, it would be SQL arg1 and then you would basically just, you know, type the name of the parameters or so the name of the parameter would be dash E followed by the path. Uh, so make sure, you know, you just uh, put in the correct path over there and then it should work. Uh, but even in that case, even when you follow this step, which I've tried out already, by the way, it would it will still not work. Let me just go ahead and delete that. Mm -hmm. uh, so the problem is that, you know, basically uh, you can there will be one error or another and it's not going to start. So um, uh, what eventually the help that I found was here. Uh, I posted a question over here and basically somebody pointed me to this thread, uh, which is uh, this guy, SQL Server 2019, Windows 11. So for me, it wasn't just Windows 2000. Uh, it wasn't just SQL Server 2019. Actually, I couldn't make any server work uh, on the Windows 11. Um, so... Um, so basically this article talks about, you know, some resolution steps and the resolution steps it talks about is that you actually have to have a second drive and then if you install your SQL and the data files on the second drive, then it will work. Um, so that's kind of a weird solution, um, but uh, obviously in my case, since I'm using Parallel uh, right now, I'm actually loading uh, Windows inside Parallel environment and I'm not using Bootcamp. So this is a purely virtual environment. So there is no really hard disk. So so I'm thinking that, you know, the issue is probably related to the hardware. Uh, and just because, you know, Windows 11 has issues with the hardware, 
uh, in this case you know pure pure virtual environment uh, and uh, it just it won't work interestingly this part does work uh, so if i go to properties and in here services disable let me make it automatic and uh, let me start that so this uh, the browser part works and if you install any additional like um, SSIS servers and those installs are fine as well but it's the SQL server which I need and and this one does not work so uh, I did try the 2019-2017 developer version then 2016 um, express version so all of them have the same issue uh, basically it does not install correctly um, so i guess the takeaway is that just downgrade to windows 10 and then install uh, and then i'm going to do the same steps i'm just going to downgrade to windows 10 and see if that resolves anything uh, but apparently it should uh, but i'll update on that but just to save you time don't bother you know installing uh, sql server on 2011 especially in parallel environment uh, it may not work because it needs a second hard drive um, which you know it's not possible for me because i just have one hard drive and then i only am running windows in uh, virtual environment so hope this video helps thank you